that th this movie has the look of a bigger production. Yes. From, from from everything from the way it was shot uh, to uh, the sets, the, the effects, and the movie poster. The movie poster is awesome. Uh, the special effects are really good. But I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. Let's talk about who's in it. Okay? So, the main star is Mitchell Mussolino. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Probably did. Probably did. Uh, and he plays Sam, which I think is a, nor a, a nod toward Sam Hain. Halloween. Half. Oh. Okay? Co-star, his best friend in this film is played by Will Stout. And he plays Josh. Sam's best friend? Sam's best friend would be uh, Lexi Drips. And uh, she plays Michelle. Yeah! Yes! Okay. And then there's also uh, a couple of other players. There's Chris, Nikki, and Russell. Yes, Doctor. That brings us up to a total of six. Yes, Doctor. Who are the main characters? The first three were the super main characters. Uh, the second three are... Supporting them. They're, 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 they're supporting they're actors. They're supporting actors. Okay. Uh, also in this film, when you watch it, look for uh, Leanna Quigley. She's known for Return of the Living Dead. And uh, she's a scream queen from back in the 80s. Uh, oh. Night of the Demons, I think she was in also. Oh. Ah. And also, look, uh, in, in this movie, she plays the church lady. She was big. The church lady. Oh, and also, look for a special appearance by Ari Lehman. Yes. The original Jason. Yes. From Friday the 13th, the first movie. Go, Jason. Okay. Uh, and one more name, and then we'll talk about the movie. And that's Rick Billock. Okay, look for him. He plays the preacher. He's a friend of mine. Shout out to Rick. Wait a minute, Doc. Yeah. Wasn't the original Jason Mrs. Voorhees? No, the original Jason was Jason. He was in the water, and he reached up and he grabbed the, the girl out of the boat. Yeah, but what about At Mrs. The end. Voorhees? She was the original murderer in Friday ah. the 13th. The original Jason was Jason. Oh, ah. thanks, Doc. <laughs> no problem. Okay, let's get on with this. The premise of the movie. There's a local legend about a barn, where if you go to that barn on Halloween night and knock on the door three times and say trick or treat. Gotta be dressed in your trick or treat stuff. You will awaken three of the nastiest Halloweenish demons and unleash them upon the world. And then everything goes horribly wrong. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh is right. Okay, it's uh, Devil's Night. Or where I grew up, it was called Mischief Night. Mischief Night. Night. And some towns have their Halloween on Mischief Night, depending on what day of the week it is, uh, and to allow people to trick-or-treat on that night. Mischief Night, our two friends, Sam and Josh, have a haunted garage set up, and, and that's near and dear to my heart. I'm a home haunter. 30 years plus. Yes. Halloween, haunting my house, inviting people to walk through my yard and see spooky stuff. Anyhow, Sam and Josh are doing the same thing in Sam's dad's garage. And uh, they're telling the legend of the barn and about knocking on the barn door. And then the church lady visits and things go south. And the next That's night... they scare her. They ah. go on her. They did scare her. They scared her on her butt. Ah. Uh, the next night, uh, they go on a road trip because they heard about a rock and roll concert from, uh, I think Dr. Rock was the name of the character's name. He, he, uh, it's like a DJ rock show. And they hop in the van and head a couple of towns over and 
before they get there, they stop, they party a little bit outside of a barn. Where they trick or treat. It just happens to be the barn. And they awaken the demons. Yes! Yes. Yes, Doctor. Okay, uh... Fun things about this movie is it was an independent film. It was low budget, and at one point the production of it shut shut down, and it was basically just stagnant. It was dead in the water. It wasn't going nowhere. Dun, dun, dun. But the writer and director and editor of this film sort of making some phone calls. He got the cast members to come back, some of them working for free, to finish his dream. I said, isn't that the cool part about independent movies? It's the dream. Remember that when watching this. It's not just the entertainment. This is somebody's dream. Okay, the film was filmed in, the film was filmed in Pennsylvania. Yeah. Yay! But it wasn't in the swamp. It was not in this part of Pennsylvania, my friends. It was more toward Pittsburgh, I believe. Yes, West. Yes. So, uh, Westinger. Uh, yeah, look for the, the editing, look for some really creative shots, and look for the special gore effects. Uh, it may be a little over the top, maybe. It's really good. But it's a lot of fun gore. And what about all the cool decorations? Well, okay, yeah, I, didn't, I failed to mention. The movie, though made in 2016, uh, was a little bit of its, ahead of its time because uh, this this was made before Stranger Things. This film is set in the 80s, which is also near and dear to my heart because I'm like a 70s, 80s kid. Uh, so look for the cool vintage costumes, uh, the cool vintage uh, cutout decorations that are hanging around the, uh, the bowling alley and on the windows and at the schoolhouse barn party, right? Yeah, it yes. was super cool. Super cool. Nostalgia. Nostalgia. Uh, the music was excellent. Uh, check out the, the score. And, and if you do check out this movie, and if you liked it, and even if you don't. Now, you got to try it. you got to try. try it. And it's good. Let me know, okay? It's really good. We loved it. It's We're going to watch it again. Uh, I'm, I'm camera, not ready to rate this film. The camera angles were so yeah, good. Yeah, it, it was shot very well. Uh, I give it my almost topish rating. Now, knowing that going into this, that it's an independent film and it is low budget, but it was very entertaining. I give it three and a half skulls, and I maybe throw a couple of incuses in there just for good luck. Bucky? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Three, and uh, one, two, three. Out of four. And a half skulls. And a couple of incuses. Out of four skulls, four being my top rating. This is very entertaining. Uh, the only weak parts may be some of the acting. Yes! Yes, but they're all relatively inexperienced actors. So remember that when watching it. It's, it's people's dreams. And they pulled it off. They're wow! They, they made good. something that entertained me for an hour and 28 minutes. It was super fun. I give it, I give it three plus gold. Three plus gold also. It was, it was great. It was great. Your friend. Doc. Yes. I still am afraid of that boogie man. The boogie man was scary. Yeah. Yeah. And the glowing fire skeleton. The, oh. I mean the pumpkin head. The pumpkin head. Oh. The scarecrow. Those were the three demons. It was the candy corn scarecrow, the but minor, there wasn't nothing sweet about him. The miner. The who was the boogeyman. The miner. Yes. The scarecrow. Scarecrow was scary. Kick your butt. And the jack o' lantern. Jack o' lantern scary too. They ain't under my bed. No, <laughs> they're not. Your friend. Dr. Dredd, reminding you, as always, my friends, keep it scary. Keep it scary. Keep it scary. Keep it scary. Hey, Bucky. Yes, Doctor. Cut that film. Cut that film. Cut that film. Cut it. Cut it.